Hey guys, welcome back to Off The Record where we talk about whatever we want. <laughs> Shake that brass. That was like an extended play of your normal one. Yeah, <laughs> that's a new one. Today's a special edition of Off The Record because we're just going to spend the whole time trying to get Steve fired from the <laughs> This off the record is uh, how to take BuzzFeed employees and bring them into JK News. <laughs> That's it. So how's it like working at BuzzFeed? Yeah, what's it like working at BuzzFeed? What's it like working if you guys don't know who Steve is, he is the inventor of this cheap shit versus this expensive <laughs> shit. I don't think that's what it's called, but... <laughs> this is why people are spending five grand for pizza on YouTube right now. That's is actually it? true. A $5,000 pizza versus a $20 pizza, right? Like that's. What the was the first yeah. video you guys did? It was $3 sushi versus $200 sushi, which is a good reason to do that video, that's right? Like, yeah, because yeah. you could make 200 back like pretty easy with views. You know, I will say this but. though, that thank God for your thing because now I don't have to find out for myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's, the, that's, that's the why thing. it's popular. Yeah. I, think. I don't have to, I don't have to spend 500 bucks. Dude, yeah. I, I, makeup <laughs> people were doing it with dupes too, like beauty gurus got, got in on that. Like, this $500 highlighter or this $2 highlighter? Dude, I watched this channel <laughs> called The Wolf Pit, and this guy, he just he tries Dollar channel. Tree frozen food, and he always can't believe that it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude! I was gonna do a, a um, like a cooking sh dollar dollar store cooking thing. I wanted to make a di dinner out of just dollar. Food. Not having dinner at your house. Yeah. Mm -mm. Hey, I'm, I'm in for that. I love white trash food, dude. I, I do too. Food. I grew up on that stuff. Hey, you know what's interesting? I found out another brand that's gonna ignore me: Hot Pockets. <laughs> you just found them? Well, I've been trying to get them to to, to talk to me. They're not having it. Is it because you love Hot Pockets, genuinely? I fucking love Hot I Pockets, do dude. I fucking love that. Dude, the ham and cheese one? I ham and up. cheese, pepperoni, the chicken Alfredo one, mm -hmm. the Philly cheese one, mm -hmm. I love all that shit. Do you know, I, we used to eat Hot Pockets when we were younger, but I found out like after so many months that I had been eating a beef Hot Pocket, I thought they were mushrooms, because oh that's the God. consistency of the beef <laughs> in the Hot Pocket. Pretty true, pretty true. That's an mm -hmm. official review. I have a question. I, so I watched JK News. Yeah. You guys spend like half the show begging for sponsors. Dude, yeah. Does anybody actually, not begging. Well, not Tiff, she already Tiff, has Tiff sponsors. doesn't need to beg, bitch. She Tiff don't need to beg, bitch. Oh. Uh -uh. I, <laughs> Tiff's I get like, more sponsors <laughs> on my personal channel than I do on JK News. I get no sponsors yep. anytime. <laughs> I, I literally am like the antithesis to people wanting to like support their brand. I, I don't understand why, because I have great engagement. Maybe it's because I post nudes of myself, but that might be the the the, the killing. Mm. And not only that, but you're really I'm vulgar too. But what, in what yeah. fucking way? You need to find like a lingerie brand or something that fits the the yeah. nudity. Like I drink a lot, and alcohol likes to sponsor me. See, I I'm trying to get a hair care brand, but I think that they're all afraid. They're like, we don't want your hair to be the vision of a couple. <laughs> I'm like, damn it, I just want a fucking hair care thing. I want something, anything. Well, I do get brands, but then it's like, it's not the ones I want. See, now you're just being yeah, picky yeah, yeah. then. No, but then, you know, it's like, come on, man. Because you're like, I want something. Well, you get DiGiorno. You get Toyota. Yeah, why, why don't you get DiGiorno? I feel like- That's right, I'm fuck, what the fuck? I do Oh, that, that's why. <laughs> He's too bold. No, but have you noticed they don't want people, they want like like skinny ass people yeah. to promote uh, junk well, food. Well, David's been losing lots of weight. Yeah, but like, I'm still not skinny. skinny ass David's person. lost more weight than Tiff. Like Tiff. See? Yeah, so yeah, he could pretend problem, that it was because this of DiGiorno. This is how stupid brands are. But they don't want to lie either. <laughs> this is how stupid you fucking major brands are, right? Sponsor me. Yeah. Get <laughs> this, is, this is how fucking... This is how dumb General Mills is, okay? Yeah. Sponsor me, please. Thank you. This is how we're fucking good. stupid you are. That's you, why we don't get JK New sponsorship. It's you. It's your fault, David. This is great. Okay. Everybody's burning with me. <laughs> you guys actually fucking think people give a fuck about your cereal if somebody curses. That's how fucking dumb you are. Yep. Everybody eats cereal, you fucking dumb fucks. All right? And if it's good cereal, you know what we do? We, we try your Lucky Charms, we're like, that's fucking good cereal. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking good. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. This but, is what we say. We go, fuck yeah. <laughs> Where did you grow up? Sacramento, California. Okay, that's why. Why? What's up? What do you mean? No, but like, I'm from I'm from the Midwest in Ohio. You know, it's it's a very it's a more of a vanilla country. Cussing is less of a thing. What? Yeah. No. Yes. 
My old family's like Southern people, and they swear like they you don't wouldn't cuss, believe. Though. No, they don't. Your dad gets mad. My if mom. I, your dad gets mad if I say shit by accident. No, Nikki, that's my current dad. Okay, that's my <laughs> calm down father. That's my. <laughs> you don't know my father. Oh, my father that raised me. He's like doing his penance for. Yes, so exactly. Much. No, he's a grandfather now, so he feels like he can let go. No, my my old man. Swears like you wouldn't believe. Like McDonald's thinks like they're this pristine fucking brand. It's like you're fucking McDonald's. Know who you are, bitch. Yeah. Right. You're me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm McDonald's. Well, they don't need to win you over. Maybe that's the thing. That's the thing. I was in a McDonald's yeah. commercial. Oh fuck. What? Yeah, that's, and then I'm Joe got got commercial. chicken nuggets coupons. Gina got they a golden a rose of, from yeah. McDonald's. Dude, I got your. Are you ready for the ultimate McDonald's commercial? A guy in a dark room. He's only lit by the screen of his computer, and he's watching Loose Change, the 9/11 documentary, while eating. McDonald's. Ah, that's the perfect person. And the clock reads 2:01 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> You're, and it's over. Give me a break. That's where it is. Steve, I'm right. making that commercial tomorrow. I want some real McDonald's shit. Like, I want a couple arguing in a drive-thru <laughs> and while they're like getting food, and then after they eat, they feel like I they're cool it. again. They're like, ba -da -ba -da. yeah. I have a great McDonald's commercial idea. It's where you fucking say you're gonna go get McDonald's, and your girlfriend's like, I don't need anything, and you come back, and she's like, let me have some of your shit. <laughs> Yes. That's the truest shit. Right. Yes. And it's like, now you can get two for one or whatever. See, that's yeah, good. Wait, but I still wanted to hear. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, yeah, we're trying to get a fire from BuzzFeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to hear about BuzzFeed stuff. So what's up? Well, what I mean, I don't, I don't know. We, I work at BuzzFeed. We do things there. I made a show. Hey, are you going to make one of those Why I Left BuzzFeed videos soon? <laughs> oh, shit. You get hell of use. Here's my actual opinion on that. I think it's... I don't, I think it's kind of low to make those videos. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, if it was so bad, I Sophia Nygaard has been doing pretty well. I wouldn't see like, okay, so if it was so bad, right, why are there so many people that are sticking with? That's, okay, yeah, that's the thing. So, but the thing is when these people who made those videos, oh my God, I can't believe I'm saying this yeah. on camera. Go ahead. When they- Tread carefully. When they work at BuzzFeed, they signed a paper that said, I'm going to not own any of this content. So it's not like they didn't know what they were getting themselves into. Oh, yeah. But it's yeah. crazy that they'll complain like about it afterward, right? So to me, like, I don't own what a. You say? I said it's not like J.K. Yeah. We're crazier. There's people don't know. We just start doing things and projects together, and then it's yeah. like that's it. It's yeah. so loose. But I heard, I heard that it was more like they weren't allowed to do their own projects. Like, uh, like some BuzzFeed people that I know that left, they were like, they, BuzzFeed was getting mad that they were working on their own channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, at, at some point in the early days, that was less, less okay. I mean, I'm here now with you guys. So, right, you know, right. Like, they've loosened. Like, anytime I've asked for permission on anything, you know, I've collaborated with so many different people, and they're cool with it. Do you, Do you think because of what yeah. happened, they? kind of took a look at themselves and said, it was kind of like, thanks to them, now there's more freedom and there's just more. Maybe, yeah. So he doesn't believe that. They trailblazed. <laughs> I, I can see you don't believe that, which is fine, by the way. Yeah. What? The, no, that, that they trailblazed for that, because I don't think that either. I don't think that they trailblazed. For I've it. dealt with company drama and I've dealt with that stuff, and I always think like it's so fucked up to air out that shit to the public. Right. But like he said, they know what they signed but up it's for. Like someone that's and then scorned. they act surprised later on yes. after they reap the benefits of the situation. Exactly. Yeah. Then they bitch about the circumstances that they already knew. Because we had that. But people do that all the time. Yes, they do. It's, like yeah, like it's, even not BuzzFeed people, like celebrities will be like, oh, they didn't, you know, they didn't treat me nice on this movie or whatever, you know? Well, that's because they know they can use it to build attention for themselves. Because right. now you just have to try people in the court of public opinion. Right. You know you signed that contract, yeah. like you're fully aware. Because what I would do is try to deal with the company directly, and then I'll say, hey, I want to talk about this publicly. Will a representative of your company come and we could have this discussion raw? And I think that would be such a better learning experience for everyone versus one person giving their side of the story and then that's it. Now the other side People has to People love yeah. drama themselves. though. They love to yeah. see the- Well, just think about it. Well, let's not even do that. A lot of companies have, especially in entertainment, because BuzzFeed is an entertainment company, no compete clauses. Like that's that's very fucking common. Like you can't yeah. work for a company, yeah. reap all the fucking benefits, and then you develop a competing company next to theirs. Yeah. It doesn't fucking work that way, dude. That's yeah. common fucking it's, sense. It is in every industry, right? You, you have <laughs> cooks who come up with dishes for restaurants, and then the restaurant owns the dish. They don't own the dish anymore. Mm -hmm. But that's just how it is. Like you have the opportunity to work with the yeah. people. And honestly, like the reason I'm I love it is because the people I work with, right? Like my co-hosts, my co-producers. I would never have met them if it weren't for BuzzFeed. 
So they created an environment where I was able to find people that I love. Because for me, like how I see that is this, it's like you work for a, a restaurant and then you take their ingredients and you're cooking and selling their food to somebody else. Dude, it's like the, the <laughs> it's like the humble Italian chef who designed Pizza Hut cheesy pizza bites. <laughs> Or the, the stuffed crust. The stuffed he doesn't crust. get to keep the recipe, okay? That belongs to Pizza Hut Inc. Stuffed crust was a game changer. He's like, I call it a cheesy bites, you know? He, he's proud of it, but I he knows it's not way. for him. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. that's like a that's like an architect that joins a firm, and then his design is like on a fucking billion dollar building, and he only gets paid whatever salary, and he's like, I didn't get a piece of that. But yeah. it's like, yeah. You were paid to That's what an money. employee is though. You exchange yeah. your, I guess, like ability equity. to, yeah, have, have equity or intellectual property in exchange for security. Like the company's putting up money first yeah. and they're investing they into the you. Exactly. Yeah, in hopes that you do benefit the company in a way where it pays off. So it's a fair exchange in my opinion, yeah. Yeah. because I could see it from both sides. And if you did want to, take the whole pie, then you should have went into business for yourself. Exactly, but you couldn't do it, so you right. use somebody else's resources for it, and then you're bitching about it after. That doesn't make any sense to me. So after your contract ends, quit, and then go somewhere else. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, kill yourself. No, 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 nobody no, killed himself. No, 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 that's David's oh, okay. classic line. I thought that, yeah, I thought he was going there, and, no. then, he, and then he switched it up. No, I don't say that anymore, because people people got sad. Oh, you you changed for the people? What? You let the comments get to you? You had to get with the times. You let, yeah. Never. Wow, you sold oh, out, David. Well, let me let me correct myself. I, I did say it last week, but <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like he didn't change. I don't say it as often as I used to. And plus, I'm also thinking about Steven's brand as well. So I'm not. Oh, thinking. thank you. Oh, I, I need the sponsorships. Nice. Exactly. You can't drag me down. You choose to live in your fucking crud, you piece of shit. Can I can I say Steven? Because everyone likes to shit on Buzzfeed, and we've done a little bit of that. But I but I, <laughs> but I want to say honestly, one of my favorite Buzzfeed videos was when they got um like what do you call it like people from China to try Panda Express and then they got a bunch of millennial yeah, yeah. Chinese like people who grew yeah. up in America to try Panda Express and all the millennials are like this is not Chinese food are you kidding me this is not fucking Chinese food are you, are you joking bro like I'm like mad eating this like this is crazy like and then the Chinese people are like oh this is really fucking good. <laughs> I love that shit, man. Uh, sounds like Joe. <laughs> no, he loves Panda. No, no, it's with yeah. Japanese food. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is not the authentic yeah, that's true. That's Japanese true. food. Ja Japanese people, they're, they're a lot more stickler about their food, though. They have yeah. a lot of pride in their yeah. shit. You know. We should do it. Uh, Joe tries what? Yoshinoya? Yeah, yeah. Well, Yoshinoya is not very is fucking bad. That's why I think it's yeah. because I've had the Japanese version and yeah. the American version. Oh. So then your standards change. And, and I say this, like, this is truth all across the board. So, like, some of our friends who, you know, had sushi just in America, once they went to Japan and tried it, they came back. They're like, I can't eat it. And I know. But you have it as sugarfish. Yeah, sugarfish is basically, like, the the normal sushi in Japan. Like uh, it's like, that's like the, it's like the, the entry middle. level. That's like so. the drive through sushi. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is, it is. Grocery store sushi. <laughs> it is, it's it's le legitimately conveyor belt sushi. Yeah. That's the level. So then they're like, man, I was wondering why Joe was so pretentious when it came to sushi. I'm like, I'm not. It's just difficult to go back once yeah. you tried. Oh and it's cheaper. Japan, yes, like and, it's and it's cheaper. Hella cheaper. Yeah. It's cheap, yeah, I have I had $6 Toro. Yeah. Wait, what about Hero Dreams of Sushi? Yeah, that shit was like sushi. fucking $3,000. It was like $30,000. It's like, it's like, I think it's like, Close to three hundred a person. Yeah, but he, even wow. him. Oh, I thought it was like thirty thousand. No, it's like no, it's like no, it's like two hundred. It's like two hundred, two hundred, three hundred. Thirty thousand. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, that's. I told her I was like, it wasn't thirty grand. Well, I remember hearing thirty grand. I just remember thing, hearing like you have to have a whole year in reservation. But yeah. my mom told me that he's he's hype because she's like the locals know of him and then but he's old news yeah. but then but then because of the netflix special yeah, yeah. and like obama eating there and all that stuff to the world he's like a big deal but to the locals there they're like oh his sons are what's really popular now because uh, they're merging and doing fusion and stuff that's like next level i see so i think a lot of people want to go there and get the traditional stuff while the locals there are like that's old so he's the blink 182 and <laughs> and his sons are like the upcoming punk rock real punk rock yeah like the 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 sons are like the Rock stars I just want a, today, yeah. a old man that looks like a turtle to make my food. That's all I want. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a turtle. That's racist. Like straight. Well, he looks. I'm sorry. He looks like an Asian turtle. 
I don't think he made eye contact with the camera one time during that entire movie. I watched that entire 90 minute doc and he the whole time he's looking at everything else. <laughs> that dude. But eye contact is actually rude. Like I had to learn eye contact. Yeah, he yeah. was the weirdest with eye contact. Yeah. Like for the longest time. Well, it's a combination of two things. One is cultural and the other thing is just growing up in like a violent environment. Like if you look you somebody someone somebody. in the eye, yeah. that's challenging. It's like yeah. two pit bulls like about to fight. I'm surprised you're not a cat person. Cause you're not supposed to look cats in the eye either. Yeah, oh, dogs You kind of look a little past them and then they're like, okay, well, I trust you. But if you look them in the eye, it's like, you wanna fight? You wanna go? Yeah. I didn't know that. I look at my cats all the time. Well, that's cause they love you now. But it, a cat you don't know. Your dog looks you directly in the fucking windows of your soul because yeah. they fucking love you though. Like if if it's your dog. If it's yeah, your yeah. dog. If it's your dog, that means they fuck. Yeah, my cat awesome. will look at me in the eye like through my soul. I, I do not know. recommend people looking into dogs' eyes. Though. Not strangers' dogs though. They'll fuck it. Yeah, yeah, not They'll stranger cats. I'm so excited because speaking of looking people in the eye, we get to look in the eye of crazy people this weekend because we're going to the annual kitty fur ball. Oh, the fur ball. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the kitten oh. rescue. Yeah. This weekend, so. It's, Dang, it's been a year already. I, I remember yeah, right? what you told me. Yeah, so so they it. everyone dresses up like debutantes and shit, and they all like and there's people who bring their cats it. and they bring them in like little fucking Louis Vuitton bags and shit, and they all. All, like try to raise money for it's a cat committee. But do you have to buy a ticket to this? Yeah. yeah. Well, it goes for donations. Yeah. David, you should come. It's, it's wait, but are all the are all the cats that are owned are like rescue cats or are they like thousand dollar cats? No, they're all no, rescues. No, they're rescues. They're one hundred percent rescues. Rescue. It's just hilarious because they're all cat ladies and cat people. And everyone's wearing cat ears and cat dresses. And like putting little whiskers on, but they're wearing like a three thousand dollar dress. I want to dress up as a cat and then <laughs> and then not take my fucking Zyrtec. <laughs> Because I'm highly allergic, like I break out at hives. Oh my god! Just walking through that the party with, with a drink in your hand and hearing what everyone's saying, it's it's all mostly like yeah, like I, I was like I don't need a son, like I love my cats. Like, <laughs> And the person's like, oh, I know, it's so true. Oh, Dude, you know what? <laughs> I caught myself because last year I was like, oh, this place is getting so trendy. Because before I was like the youngest person, there was like all older cat ladies. And now it's like a lot of, a lot of young, New blood. young, hot little cat ladies. And I'm like, fuck you. And they are hot. They are hot. <laughs> it's an open bar though. Oh, Peace. really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. I just want to dress up like a cat. <laughs> yeah. And then see what happens. <laughs> I feel like that's the prerequisite of a cam girl, though. They like, all cam girls and Instagram models have to have a cat. Huh? Like the the, the, sec, the sexy Instagram, like the sexual ones, not the not the ones that just do DIYs and brands. Oh, I feel like all the DIY crafty people have it, but the, the sexy girls have dogs. Hmm. They all do the puppy. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Like, unless you're into a, a specific niche of cam girl. Maybe. I don't know who to trust here. I don't know. I feel like I should trust Joe. Yeah. Probably. He probably watches a lot more cam girls than me. I will have Joe's back on this one. I just feel like it's mostly like associated with being a, an old um, spinster, like a crafty, yeah. like... I, I want to dress up I as Black Panther to this event and start kicking people in the face. <laughs> Do you have any pets? No pets. Never had a pet. No? I never know. had a pet? I know. What do you mean, like, never had a pet? Yeah, never had a pet. Like a what? fish? No. Why? Goldfish? I, I mean, my brother had a fish, and my sister had a hamster. Something like that. And that's wow. it? Wow. Well, by association, you had you had one then. I that's true. I, I didn't, I didn't feed them, Technically counts. You lived in a home where there were pets. Home feels sure. so Are empty. you one of those people who are like, no, they're my friends. And you're like, oh, well, I have lizard friends, and they live with me. <laughs> yeah. But they're not my pets. They're my family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. I, I, feel, I just feel like home feels so empty without pets in it. That's my life. Oh. <laughs> Damn. I'm a pet hoarder. If I had the chance to, I will fucking collect like a- Oh, girl. that's what I want to do. I want to foster kittens. I just want a dog mm. that never poos or pees. No, I'm just saying, like, if it was ever possible. Genetically possible. Yeah. Buy a taxidermy animal. Yeah. I want them to be alive. Dog Everything, I love dogs, whatever. I just, I just hate yeah. picking up a dog's poop and the fact that I own you and I have to pick up your poop, you piece of I, shit. I want a dog <laughs> that looks like a puppy forever but doesn't act like a puppy. That's why you get a chimpanzee and then you can train the chimpanzee to do housework. <laughs> There's those people that train their cats to, sh to shit in the fucking toilet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's just weird. That. Yeah, that's weird. They literally poop and then they'll flush. Yeah. That's <laughs> kick ass, though. That's great. There's like a, there's a kitty little, yeah, kitty little, yeah, yeah. 
That's not weird, that's it. evolution. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> like I looked into it, it was too hard. A chimpanzee can rip your face off though, I would never yeah. happen. But have you seen a chimpanzee in overalls though? It's good. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's pretty hard to not want. When they're smoking and you're carrying a briefcase. <laughs> I've talked about it many times yeah. and I'll talk I about it I want a chimpanzee again. wearing overalls with that spinny fucking hand. <laughs> I want a full on chimp band. I want an entire band where all the monkeys are holding instruments and doing whatever music they do. <laughs> they don't even have to be making music. So they pretend know. to play. Right, they're all on a stage, oh, like wearing it. suits <laughs> with instruments. That's awesome. And doing whatever they're gonna do. Peter's gonna love this video. <laughs> My favorite zoo animal is a chimpanzee. You though. wanna create a dog without a butthole? How dare you? They look like furry babies, like furry toddlers.